be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. James 1 verse 22. God calls upon those who know his will to be doers of his word. Weakness, half-heartedness, and indecision provoke the assaults of Satan. And those who permit these traits to grow will be borne helplessly down by the surging waves of temptation. Everyone who professes the name of Christ is required to grow up to the full stature of Christ, the Christian's living head. We all need a guide through the many straight places in life, as much as the sailor needs a pilot over the sandy bar or up the rocky river. And where is this guide to be found? We point you to the Bible. Inspired of God, written by holy men, it points out with great clearness the precision, the duties of both old and young. It elevates the mind, softens the heart, and imparts gladness and holy joy to the spirit. The Bible presents a perfect standard of character. It is an infallible guide under all circumstances, even to the end of the journey of life. Take it as the man of your counsel, the rule of your daily life. In the scriptures, thousands of gems of truth lie hidden from the surface seeker. The mine of truth is never exhausted. The more you search the scriptures with humble hearts, the greater will be your interest, and the more you will feel like exclaiming with Paul, Oh, the depths of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. Every day, you should learn something new from the scriptures. Search them as for hid treasures, for they contain the words of eternal life. Pray for wisdom and understanding to comprehend these holy writings. If you would do this, you would find new glories in the word of God, and you would feel that you have received new and precious light on subjects connected with the truth, and the scriptures would be constantly receiving a new value in your estimation. Be diligent in the use of every means of grace, that you may be transformed in character and may grow up to the full stature of men and women in Christ Jesus.